basically been given the option of taking calculation grades for how the teachers and the Department of Education expected them to do in their exams. If they're not entirely happy with that, they can opt to sit the Leaving Certificate. But the difficulty is they don't know when that Leaving Certificate will be sat. It could be later this year, it could even be early next year. The grades that, that teachers will give their students, um, would there be any element of potential bias or favouritism in that? But that's going to be closely monitored by the schools and by the Department of Education. I mean, the Department of Education won't allow a school to suddenly get the most fantastic results they've ever had in, in their existence. That just will not be possible. They've, they've also got outside expertise to help in this calculation. Um, so it'll be a pretty uh, systematic, systematic approach to giving the grades. So I think they'll be, because they're very concerned about the element of fairness in the exams. That's a real big issue, equity and fairness. So the question arises now, what next? Well, five out of six Leaving Certificate students apply to go to college. The Central Applications Office has said it will accept the calculated grades from the department, so they'll be accepted by the colleges. The colleges are going to try to stick uh, as close as possible to the normal schedule for making offers and uh, taking in first years and starting, starting first year courses. I think it's the best of a bad lot. It's, it's the least worst scenario for students uh, because it just wasn't possible to hold the exam for 60,000 students and for 11,000 invigilators and assistants in July and August. Most students will be happy with today's decision. Some certainly won't and they'll be very angry indeed. Some of them who feel that they really need to get their chance to sit the Leaving Certificate.